Oil and gas started out as living organisms that died and were compressed and heated under heavy layers of sediment. Scientists have debated whether some of those hydrocarbons were formed deeper in the earth without organic matter. Now researchers at the Geophysical Laboratory, with colleagues from Russia and Sweden, have found that ethane and heavier hydrocarbons can be synthesized under conditions like those between the Earth's crust and the top layer of its core. Methane is the main constituent of natural gas, while ethane is used as a petrochemical feedstock. Both of these hydrocarbons are called saturated hydrocarbons because they have simple single bonds and are saturated with hydrogen. Using a diamond anvil cell and a laser heat source, the scientists subjected methane to pressures exceeding 20,000 times the air pressure at sea level. The methane was heated to temperatures from 1300 to over 2240 degrees Fahrenheit. These conditions are like those found 40 to 95 miles inside the Earth. The methane reacted to form ethane, propane, butane, molecular hydrogen, and graphite. The scientists then subjected ethane to the same conditions and it produced methane. The transformations suggest heavier hydrocarbons could exist deep down. The reversibility implies that the synthesis of saturated hydrocarbons is thermodynamically controlled and does not require organic matter. The idea that hydrocarbons were generated in the Earth's mantle and migrated into the crust was promoted in Russia and Ukraine many years ago. But many questions remain about the synthesis and stability of compounds over the full range of conditions in the mantle. It's also unknown whether carbon can survive migration into the crust without becoming carbon dioxide. Answering such questions will require a new experimental and theoretical program. The research is published in the July 26, 2009 Advanced Online Issue of Nature Geoscience. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.